Hello brothers and sisters, uh, this is uh, Christina speaking today, it's uh, June 13, 2023 and I hope you are doing well and so I have message from the Lord but before I share it, I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are watching for the rapture. All signs are here. We know the rapture can happen any day now. The word of God says that Jesus will come like a thief in the night, as in the days of Noah. We know we are living as in the days of Noah. Of course, nobody knows the day or the hour except God alone. And this is why we must watch pray and be ready every day. Also think that you might die today. And this is another reason why you must be ready and get your house in order all the time. The Lord said that he is coming to take those who are ready, the righteous, those who are living a holy life. Hebrews 12 verse 14. Also, remember that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. Brothers and sisters, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus Christ alone until he comes. Amen. Before I go through the message of today, I want to share with you a word from the Lord which I received three times today and I believe this is for those who are going through a difficult situation, those who are being persecuted and confused. The Lord wants you to meditate on Psalm 31. Psalm 31. Brothers and sisters, do not give up. The Lord wants you to endure to death. He will give you the crown of life. This is in Revelation chapter 2. Now I'm going to share with you the message from the Lord and this time I'm going to focus on young people including children and teenagers. Also the message is for all of us. I hope you take time to listen to this message, like it and share. We want many people to come to Jesus Christ in repentance before it is too late. I know only a few people are watching my videos because these messages are all about repentance and forgiveness and many are not interested in listening to the messages talking about repentance because they believe that there is no need to repent, which is a lie from the pit of hell. This is a lie from the devil, which goes against the word of God. Brothers and sisters, do not be deceived. The word of God says that a sinner will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. God hates sin. Luke 13 verse 3 Jesus says unless you all repent you will all perish understand that God does not wish anyone to perish we all have sin and this is why God is calling us to repentance before it is too late and so brothers and sisters don't be afraid no matter what you have done. Jesus loves you so much. All you need is to recognize that you are a sinner and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and repent before it is too late. Repentance means go and sin no more. I hope you are listening. Time is almost over. Now I'm going to share with you a message from the Lord. 
I had a dream on June 6, 2023, in which I was taken into a place where a group of young people, men and women, were gathered for a party. These young people were doing all kinds of evil activities, including sexual activities. They were drinking, smoking, taking drugs, dancing to worldly music. Many of them were drunk. They were fighting, watching porn, playing evil video games. They were insulting one another, lying to one another. They were using evil words when they were talking. They were dressed inappropriately. The girls were wearing very short dresses to seduce. This was not good to see. One of the girls who was wearing a very short dress bent down to pick something up. We could see all her private parts showing. All the boys around her were excited. I went to see her and told her to be careful because she was almost naked. When I finished talking to her, I heard a voice saying to me, tell them that if they don't give up their sinful lives and come to Jesus Christ for repentance, they will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Time is very short. I gave them the message, and when I finished, I looked around. I saw a young man who was preaching to another group of young people. He was telling them to put all evil things out of their lives and keep their houses in order because Jesus Christ is about to come to get only those who are ready, those who live a holy life. The dream ended. I prayed, seeking the Lord for discernment and understanding. I'm going to share with you what the Lord said. Before I do that, I want to remind you, brothers and sisters, that the Lord wants you always to take time and read all these scriptures I'm going to share with you. All these scriptures are from the Lord himself. He wants you to read them, pray, and take everything to the Holy Spirit for discernment and understanding. I do the same thing. Every time he gives me a message and the scriptures, I read all them and I pray. When you do that, you get deeply connected to him and this is how you heal from him. And so, the Lord said that many young people around the world are living a sinful life. He said that the feelings get out of control. He said that these young people are dealing with all kinds of sexual immorality, including homosexuality. He said that sexual immorality and impure acts are a part of their lives. He said that these young people want more and more, which means living to serve a false God. The Lord said that these things make him angry. When he said that, he reminded me about 
Sodom and Gomorrah. He gave me a scripture. Jude 1st verse 7, which says, As Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to this, having given themselves over to sexual immorality and gone after strange flesh, I see it forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Brothers and sisters, please pray for young people, including children and teenagers. We will all be judged. Each according to his actions. I'm not talking about the children under age. Also, the Lord talked about those who have done all these things in the past. He said, in your evil life in the past, you also did these things, but now put these things out of your life. Seek me and leave. Also, um, the Lord talked about the industries, companies that are exploiting young people for their own benefit. He said that young people today run after material things, famous and wealth. He said that young people are naive and lost. He said that they believe in lies. And what they ignore is that Satan is behind the sin. And his goal is to take all them to hell with him. The Lord said that young people, including children and teenagers, are number one targets of Satan's strategy when he said that he gave me scripture, Deuteronomy 6, verse 6 and 7. It says, And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and you shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. I believe he's talking to the parents. The Lord said that Satan seeks to destroy young people, families, and churches by seducing them and children from their parents and from God, he gave me a scripture. First Timothy chapter four, verse one. The Lord is calling parents to pray and seek him, to help them to teach their children to resist the enemy themselves. The Lord is calling parents to pray and seek him, to help them to teach their children to resist the enemy themselves. He gave me another scripture, First Peter chapter 4, verse 7, which says, But the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful. 
in your prayers. He gave me another scripture, 1 John chapter 2, from verse 15 to 18. I'm going to read it to you. Do not love the world, all the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the rust of the flesh, the rust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the rust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Brothers and sisters, I hope you are listening. The end is coming. The judgment is upon the earth. He gave me another scripture, Second Peter chapter 3, verse 3, which says, Knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days, working according to their own rust. The Lord said that we are living in the last days where many, including young people, are sleeping. Many are scoffers and mockers. He said that the problem of many young people do not even believe that Satan exists. He said that the Bible speaks of Satan many times and also many times as the devil. Then he gave me a scripture, John 8, verse 44. Please read John 8, verse 44. When you do the will of the devil, brothers and sisters, he becomes your father. He said that Satan deceives many by saying that everything happens by chance and that there is no God. This is a deception, brothers and sisters. The Lord wants you to read your Bible. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8 says, the Bible calls Satan the God of this world. Revelation 3 verse 19 As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Mark chapter 2, verse 7, Jesus said, He did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Brothers and sisters, repent before it is too late. And pray for your children. Pray for young people. Share this message. Time is very, very short. Also, he gave me two very important scriptures. First Corinthians chapter 6 from verse 9 to 10 and Revelation 21 verse 8. These scriptures talk about sins and the consequences.
I hope you take time to read all these scriptures. He talked about Romans chapter 6, verse 23. The consequences of sin is death. Go and read that scripture as well. Now I have another message from the Lord. And this message is for those who used to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. And now they have given up. Your message is in Luke chapter 9, verse 62. This says, No one having put his hand to the pro and looking back is a fit for the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, if you used to follow the Lord Jesus Christ and now you have given up, turn to him and repent. Read Luke 9, verse 62, his message to you. You must keep going, brothers and sisters. And also, the Lord talked about those he has been calling to go out to spread the word of God, but they are resisting him. Your message is in Luke chapter 9 from verse 57 to 62. Brothers and sisters, if God has calling you to go out and spread the word of God, please go. We don't have much time left. People need to hear the truth. There are so many lies going on these last days we are living in, and many are lost. I have another message from the Lord, and you are going to read this scripture yourself. This is a message from men and women. First Timothy chapter two, from verse eight to 10. And so the apostle exhorts to prayer for all sorts of men, gives rulers and directions about the dress of women and the subjection to the husbands. You must read this scripture. If you are wearing jewelry, if you are braiding your hair, brothers and sisters, all these makeup, I have talked about that. And so you have to make decision. You have to listen to the voice of God and obey his words. The judgment is coming. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please turn to him right now. Receive and accept him as your God and Savior. Believe and repent, yet baptized of water and spirit. Before you get baptized, make sure you believe in Jesus Christ. You believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried 
and rose on the third day. You obey him and you keep his commandments. God bless you.